Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. Uh, I've literally pretty much just got back from Manchester and the Conservative Party conference. Um, quite extraordinary events really that unfolded uh, in many different ways at the conference and, and I guess kicking off for me with Jacob Rees-Mogg and his comments uh, that he would like to see uh, not only more Australian beef on our marketplace but hormone uh, treated beef coming onto our marketplace as well and I reacted very strongly on Twitter. I accused him of being totally and utterly morally bankrupt which is something that I absolutely stand by. He then went on to Politics Live and made the case that the NFU was protectionist on behalf of its members and indeed he's proof that we need to be because rejecting hormone treated beef from coming onto our marketplace has been an absolutely key part of our negotiations uh, with government. It was what the million people was all about and I am determined and indeed I have it in writing from the Prime Minister that not now, not ever, will we import hormone treated beef. So it was uh, the proverbial uh, flag to the raging bull, uh, if I can put it that way. Um, but moving on to the substantive part of the conference, which was uh, the Prime Minister's speech and, and really, I guess, for us on your behalf, um, on HS2, what does this mean? We are going through all policy aspects uh, and indeed all legal aspects as to what this could mean for members who've been on the most extraordinary, emotional and financially challenging journey with HS2. Of course, it's not resolved yet. We have no idea what Labour will be saying uh, in response to what the Conservatives have said, whether they will be looking to progress with Birmingham to Manchester or not. So hugely significant, uh, enormously concerning for those members and indeed a lot of other infrastructure projects announced uh, without any forward planning uh, or engagement right across the country. No doubt some really well perceived, some will be concerning. So as soon as we know more, we will be letting you know. But I'm off to Liverpool for the Labour Party conference next week and I'll be reporting back from there. And tonight I'm off to the Farmers Weekly Awards to uh, present the NFU Farm Champion Award. It goes to the most uh, amazing couple, Andy and Linda Eden, who've done so much to raise the profile of achieving positive mental health on the back of losing their son so tragically, Leonard, uh, uh, last year. So uh, I'm so proud to be presenting it to them and it couldn't be more deserved. So as ever, wherever you are, please do take care and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.